Hi there, welcome back to the channel. I've been on holiday for a while, so apologies for lack of content. Here we are, I've been come back and we've been trying to go back over this uh, this new Italian line. I'm playing the tier seven Caro da Salto P88 on my free to play account here. Didn't manage to master them the first time around, so I thought well, about two or three months after they've been released, let's give them another try. Playing Dynasty's Pearl here on ratings, I think. It really is quite a nice tank. Uh, it's a lot better than I thought it was to start with. Um, it's got a really sweet, accurate cannon, and the armor is is pretty good actually for a tier seven. If, unless people are firing gold at you, then uh, you can bounce quite a lot of shots, especially if you go face hugging people. Um, the the turret really is first class really for a tier 7 tank playing against tier 7 and 8 all the time as is the case here I'm just trying to work out what the best stitch for, best thing to do here is we push it in on these guys to the left here get a shot on the Skoda the uh, degrees of elevation on the gun are okay um, it's acceleration is good it's a bit like a med actually I say it's 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 cannon is really accurate if you let it Zoom right in, you very rarely miss a shot with it. Um, firing gold round, you can pen most things. Really, it's quite a good tank. I've been playing it across uh, three accounts, trying to master it, and to be honest, it is really, really difficult, difficult to master. I'm not really sure. Uh, for the first, I don't know, first 100 battles, most I could get was the second. Looking at 1,000, 1,100 base XP. This game is a little bit better than the others. Um, in fact, this is the best game I've had in it across the two days I've been playing it. Keep focusing in on these guys here. We are bottom tier, obviously, with it being ratings. We've got three kills on the board already. Just so bear in mind the guy coming behind us, so I'm going to push up and uh, go into the targets. Two versus two. We really need to uh, get out of the way of his gun here try and get close to him if we can bearing in mind the the grave diggers there managed to bounce on the turret as you say that it's even the, the tiger 2 uh can't pen that turret up close it really is quite good and using this this method of fighting the heavier tiers it's low low sides on the tank and um you can really get some really good results uh against the higher tier heavies we shouldn't really be beat really. I'm just going to go in close again on the grave digger. You'll see it's going to bounce nearly everything he fires at me. One or two <laughs> shells. Not a lot he can do here. The T77 is on a long reload, so he's, very, he's either that or he very kindly lets me take the kill. But uh, there's not a lot the grave diggers can do. Um, if you go close to them like this, they're a bit overpowered. You can go straight on face into them, shoot them, shoot them at the front as well. But there we go, that we've got nice 3.3k damage here. There we have it, 40, 4509, 29 rating points, 3325 damage, 695 damage blocks, 5 destroys, 6 damage there. First class only, and a Radley Walters, and of course the, uh, the top gun. And <laughs> I can't believe it's only a first class really. Uh, there we go, 57k and 37 take home. And what we got, we are top of the tree there on yeah, five kills. Base XP for this game was 1386, which is hard to believe. That is not a mastery on a tier seven heavy tank. Um, something's gone wrong with the mastering for this one, I believe. Next game up here we are back on Alpashtar this time, playing in my North American uh, account. Still in the P88, and we're going to go head over to the uh, the C cap on this one. Heavies are pushing off to the left. Meds have actually gone to the right this time instead of going the same way, which is probably what normally happens on this map, in most places other than NA. But uh, we'll push into C. I'm expecting their heavies to be coming this way as well. See the yeah the, the low as. Uh, and the Smasher are both there, managed to bounce the shot for low. But uh, we've got some heavy friends. Just wait till that guy moves out of the way. You see with the accuracy of the gun and the pen and the reload actually, it's got about a four second reload and the accuracy is super, super good. Um, if you take the time to let that reticle set right in, 
you can really um, pull out some great shots. That shot into that VK100 lower plate there. Again, see who else there is. There's a K2 on that far side. K2 got some really good armor, but again, if we let that settle really low, managed to put the shot. On. <laughs> Unfortunately, took his shot off the low because I was taking so long to aim, but uh, the shell didn't miss. We'll see what else we've got. We've got on VK there. You see everything's hitting as long as you're taking the time to aim. And uh, you can pen most things with your normal AP shells, actually, if you aim in the right places. Even tier 8s, we are bottom tier here. K2 has got some really tricky armor to navigate, actually. For a free tank, it's a pretty good tank. But you see here, we might track that low as well. The rest of the team are not capitalising on some of the shots we've got here, but I'm just playing second line, taking the shots where I can, making sure those shots count. And we finish the AT-15, being taken out by somebody else. K2 is there. Again, didn't quite miss that hit that one, but the smasher, smasher pounded one into me there. <laughs> one good thing you could do with this, actually, is the smasher. Uh, is, uh, is You can go face up the smasher. And they don't seem to be able to penetrate that uh, that front um, front turret very easily at all. It's five versus three. Smash is gone. The rest just put a shot into me as well. We've turned the favour. He's unfortunately got a lot higher alpha than I have, despite being a medium. VK's reversing up here again. We'll put a shot into him. Just keeping the gun working, keeping it moving is unfortunately not going to shoot me. Managed to steal the kill on that one. We've got a kill in, we've got 2.5k damage. Unfortunately, our uh, friend has died there. Baresk has managed to bounce the shot, but it's now 4 versus 1. 3 versus 1, he's managed to take him out. But you can see the accuracy of it. it, it is really, really nice. I've been really enjoying it. I had some really good great battles, but just cannot master this thing for to save my life. Um, I'm not sure if the, the, the percentages are off, but the uh, obviously you can only master it based on the teams that you're presented with and the opportunities you get. But I've had some really, really good battles, scoring you know two and a half, three k damage, three, two, three, four kills, and not got the mastery. Only got a second. Um, managed to get a couple of firsts, but no, this this again is another first class game. But the uh, it's really, really hard work to get anything higher than that. So put shell back into the Baresk there. He's making it running around the action X we can steal the kill as well. So just got over 3k damage there, two kills. But again, we are bottom tier here, fighting a lot of tier eights. Got some tracking damage. Victory is ours. Uh managed to stay alive there. Three 3k damage, 485 blocks, two destroyed, five damage. So just the first class there. It's unfortunate. <laughs> It's just impossible to 45k and 21k take home, and uh, there we are, top of the tree, 3002 to, to uh, 1386 base XP on that. So, you know, you're looking at at least 1450, I reckon, to get a mastery in this thing, and you know, that's that's equivalent to most tier 8 9s and 10s, uh, maybe not the 10s, but certainly a lot of tier 8 and 9s. 1450, you'd be imagining that would, you know, not a tier 7 heavy. Uh, God knows how many people are playing this thing. Um, here we are on the lagoon this time. Still on the North American server here. Going to go over to the left and help out the meds. We're fighting against a smasher in the health and housing. The smasher's got a 50, 50 badge on his. He's obviously played it a lot. and. Uh, we are top tier here though, which was nice. Four tier sevens, three tier sixes. We've got a Spark, an STRV, and an Object 244. We've got the KB2, an STRV, and a Type 58. Fairly well matched. They've got an E10. We've got the BZ58. Uh, we've got an SU and a JP, J Panther. So we have got uh, an extra TD to their one. They've just got the Helsing. Looks like they've pushed over towards A. I'm going to put a shot into there just in case. That is the way. Looks like our J, uh, one of our guys is capping up. We'll go down the left and see if we can uh, push round and flank if they have gone all one way. As it's a North American server, they'll be going one way in a big way, as they say. The JP has come here. I'm going to follow with him. He's got a nice rapid firing gun. 
settled himself in there some nice shots, see if we can uh, capitalise on that as well. Yeah, they were all lined up for us nicely there. <laughs> Again, let's see if we can get some shots in. Bounced the object of 244. Again, they have got some quite tricky armor. I'm going to push forward again. See if we can go around the back and uh, clear some of these heavies out. I'll take the long room, go up onto the hill here. Possibly get a shot on that E10 as it go. There we go. Just let that sell in. It's very important you let the reticle sell in. Make sure you don't miss that shot. We are losing by two tanks at the moment. Six versus four. Managed to even one back there. Five. Spark is over that far side. The Helsinger's gone that way as well. The Tiger and the Smasher. We need to get back on them though. The Tiger's looking very healthy. Hopefully the JP is going to go and take out the uh, Smasher there. Go in a full HP on the Tiger. They've got an option 244. Fortunately not looking at me. It's looking now though. It's not going to get me. It's not going enough degrees of elevation there. The tiger's taking a shot though. It's two versus four. Just me and the J Panther left. Trying to get a shell in on Coppola there. Didn't quite work. Not sure where the rest of the team were. I think they were over to the left. It was the Helsing, wasn't it? Smash is still alive somewhere. I need to get out of the way. There's the Helsing. He's put two shells into me. Bounced in the middle of that armor. The JP's taking him out though. Where did the Smasher get to? I need to get away from these guys. Okay, we'll use the, the carcass of this uh, the Tiger as a bit of protection. There is the Smasher. We need to go up and deal with him there. He's going to put some nasty uh, nasty pain onto my JP friend. Let's see if we can actually we'll go back and get another shot on that Spark. See, the, the reload on the gun is really, really one of the highlights of it as well. It just, just seems to... Have a shell almost ready like it's an autoloader. It just pumps them in one by next to next. Took a shell off the smash yet, but uh, we had enough HP left. Just the housing left, the JP is there. He's gonna, he's gonna kill him, unfortunately, I think. But we just need to get a couple of shells on him and we've got the business. He managed to put one in for us as well. Just gives next the kill, easy. Four kills and uh, nice teamwork with uh, the J Panther there acted as a good team and worked together which made us have the victory possible second class and top gun 45k and 23 take home and there we are not quite top of the uh, the leaderboard there but we've got the four kills knocking those tanks out uh, while the jp was taking out the hp made a good team between us only 901 base xp though <laughs> Here we are on Hellas, just having a look at uh, what we've got in the teams. There is, uh, we're on bottom tier here, so there are four tier eights. We've got Chimera KV5RU and the Shark, they've got a K2. KV5 Object 252 and a T95E2 as well. I think they've got slightly better tier eight tanks. They've all pushed off to the left. I've tried to come to the right to spot the RU here, but uh, we have been spotted by somebody, so they do have somebody over to this side, unless I got spotted that side. Can we count how many there are? It looks like they all are all that way. RU has gone right in there. Yeah, there's seven of them. Can we get a shot on the IS as he goes by there? Turn you to it, that's nice. Going in the side. Firing a bit of APCR here, a bit of gold on him. From this distance, it's required. Just can't quite hit him well enough, but finish him off there. Between me and the RU, we did a good job. We do have a Chimera as well on this side, so let's have a look. We'll go to the right. There's a Helsing at the back here. Somebody low there as well. The RU's. Peppering shells into the Helsing. We'll just finish off the E2 while we're here. If we can get a shell in. There we go. Bounce one off the turret. KV5 is coming this way. Notoriously uh, fun armour to deal with. 
one of the most armoured tanks at tier 8. Uh, especially difficult for a lot of meds to pen. Uh, sometimes a pain in my life, you have to really, uh, really watch yourself on this against them. But I'm going to chicken out and go around the back here. We'll go try and get finish off this health zone if we can. Pick our battles where we need to. KB5's there. Again, the K2. Again, they've got tricky armour, not quite as bad as the K5. There's some, some medium tanks, you can't even penetrate them anywhere you look at them. Uh, especially some of the tier 7s. <laughs> Make it very difficult. So I to snapshot the hell's in there. It's 3 versus 4. The K2 is around the back here. Again, they've got some really tricky armour. They need to fire gold to pen them. A bit like the IS range. I'm getting up. Oh, the gun didn't lie for me there. Just trying to go in that lower weak plate. Get one this time. Still having to fire gold in there though. Should be able to hit it actually with normal AP. But again, didn't manage to bounce that. We'll try and use the technique I was talking about where you go in close and just use your turret on this guy. See if we can uh, we can bounce those shells. And we're not, not managing to penetrate him. Come on, should hit that one. Let's just keep him close to them. The tank is nice and low profile. Again, push one in that bottom low plate. And uh, just going close. The turret's good enough to bounce. Again, we can finish him with that last shell there. Gives us four kills. It's two versus one now. The rest of the team have managed to, <laughs> to do the rest of the work. Well done, that, K, uh, that KV-5. E10 is left there. He's not got a chance to go back to him, but nice way uh, to finish the game. Four kills. Super little battle, little battle on Hellas. There we go. Up 30 ratings. 1575, 320 blocked, four destroyed, and four damaged. And we are there. We are Top Gun. And how do we do in terms of credits? 45k, 9k taken. Faults. Find a lot of gold there. Uh, from a distance and uh, there we are third on the tree <laughs> we are on black goldville this time still in the p88 playing on my main account this time on eu we're going over to have a look at the b cap we are bottom tier on this one only two tier sevens we've got an sb1c and a steer wt opposite us i've got the l2g and myself i'm going to push into b the rest of the team have pushed around to A. I've been spotted by somebody there. it be interesting to see who that is. They've got the Death Star, the Chimera, the C-34. C-34 is the... can't really pen him at all. Even with gold. Tried to switch HE to try and get a bit of shot on the top of his hood there. Not going to manage, not going to, manage to do anything with him though. T-34. The turret is strong hold down. A nice hold down position that he's got there. Going to... Um, do the wise thing and run. See if we can help the, the lads push over onto A and uh, clear them out. It's obvious they've got some people going to see. Yeah, the Death Star put a shell into me there, but there's three at least spotted on that left hand side. So now we've got that knowledge, we can push on and uh, hopefully clear out the rest of the Reds up here. Just hide behind that ridgeline when a shell reloads. Let the reticle settle in. Take the easy shot. Push into A. Chimera's there. SB1C is there as well. And get a shot to him. We must have seen the writing is on the wall so far. Unfortunately, our Death Star went down, but um, cap up A and push forward. And the never ending search for this mastery. Let's try and take out the Chimera. More XP for killing the higher XP higher tier tanks. The low roll without that 192, it's a normal AP shell. But again, you see the, the turret is well capable of bouncing those Chimera um, shells. Let's just hit him behind him. Can we take the finishing shot? No. Somebody else is going to get him as an 8. Reload. Yeah, just didn't quite have enough on the reload there. It's five versus four though, we are two caps to one down. 
we have the extra tank advantage, obviously, but we need to push in and um, make use of it. That T thirty five is really using the hold down positions nicely. Just see the front of his uh, his tracks there, though. Again, the accuracy of the gun really comes into its own. You can pick out those shots and hit some that you, you know. Does, with the high degree of accuracy and uncertainty, you, you know, some of the American tanks especially, you're no guarantee you're hitting those shells at this sort of distance, uh, even fully aimed in. Uh, it is really, really, uh, really, really one of the good features of the tank. Can't emphasize that enough. And again, the rapid reload, re, you know, rate of fire. Again, shame the, 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 you know, the alpha damage is a bit higher. So you're looking about two, two, 210, 200. But uh, so for the, the accuracy and for the, uh, the reliability of the gun, it really is uh, a peach to play with. Gonna have to go and cap up C there. The, uh, the steer managed to bounce one from him. But the, um, we're gonna lose on cap if we don't stop the cap from finishing. That'll help a little bit by knocking it back, but uh, still out on 810. We just need to go and get see capping it's two versus two thankfully our T 2020 is capping B as well which leaves us in a good position to uh, hopefully win this game stop their cap from falling over even if they kill the, the T20 or me it'll only give them another 30 points we just need to hang on until we get to a thousand at this rate although we should be able to in theory Take the uh, take these out. Just that once went through the wall. Must have taken a bit of the sting out of the uh, pen there. Again, another one. One, two, three. Let's go and finish in one more shell here. Just don't miss that one. T20, T2020 had a bit of fire there, but we are now in a situation where we've got three kills. The SB1C is. Uh, is is mine for the taking. 960. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to go go over the top. High roll. We can get him. Should have maybe taken a, uh, a HE shell there, but uh, and got that fourth kill. But a nice win nonetheless. Victory is ours. 2103 damage. 660 blocked. Three destroyed. Five damage. And there we go. Second class. Nothing special to worry about there. 42k, 12k, and and then there we are, second in the 11.98 base XP. So it's not only good enough for a second, unfortunately. Um, hard to believe, 11.98 on the tier seven.